then you must keep these points in your mind. There is the students who are <coughs> performance focused students and the students who have a negative approach towards their career, they are performance avoiding students. So the positive thinking students, they have the qualities, higher efforts are organized study strategies. That means they put all their efforts, their consistent and concerted efforts towards achieving their goal. And they are goal-oriented students. And they are determined to reach their goals. And the next point is, there is high persistence. They continue to struggle. And they have that perseverance. They have that self-reliance. And by these positive qualities, they prove themselves that they are capable of doing anything in life. They set better goals and then they reach the goals by their determination, by their continuous struggle. So there is high level of inspiration of their students because they are self-motivated. Maybe teachers motivate them some successful prominent personalities in their vicinities in the country and in the world also motivate them. But such students are always in pursuit, in search of doing better. They are in search of making good persons out of them, personalities. And they want to get those traits so that they may prove themselves successful. They prove themselves capable of doing something in life. Life without goal is uh, just like a traveler, traveling without a destination. You must set better goals in your life. So, such students have high academic performance. When they are at college or university, they always have one goal in their mind. So that is, that is, they have to carry on with their career. Okay? So these are the goal setting theory, theories of motivation. Okay? So, however, the goal path is difficult, the student has to make it easy by the positive thinking, positive qualities. Okay? Then, such students are disciplined. So discipline is not only the outer, the uniform, and you are well suited and booted, but discipline starts with, the, with your own self. That means if you have self-control, and you put your efforts that are directed towards your goal, that is also discipline. When you leave, all the things that are not related to your, to your goal, so that is called discipline. So there is hard work beats talent when the talent doesn't work hard. So that means even the talented students are beaten. Why? Because they don't put efforts. Okay. So these are the five habits of successful students. How they organize their studies themselves. They don't attempt to cram all the studying into one session. That means they are not crammers. They don't rely on rote learning. But they learn things in the proper way. Second, there is the plan when they are going to study. They are good planners. They are good organizers. They organize, manage time. Make they make sure they are not distracted while they are studying. So, they are not distracted by something that is subservient to their goals. Then, the next point is, 
They ensure that each time, each, uh, each their study time, they should have a specific goal. That means there is some goal-oriented study, not a useless study, okay? So that means, the last point is, uh, they, are, they never procrastinate the planned study session. Procrastination means putting off things. When somebody doesn't want to work, then he says, uh, or she says, I have to do that tomorrow. So tomorrow never comes. Every tomorrow becomes today. Okay, thank you very much.